I'm an ecologist working for the London South East region of the Canada River Trust. Today we're at the Brent Reservoir. Uh, this is a site of special scientific interest and today we are working with uh, our contractor at Biomatrix to build some floating green rafts. So even though this, is, this reservoir is uh, a feed for the Grand Union Canal and um, is actually part of the River Brent um, and it's not, not for drinking water, um, improving the water quality in here is focusing on the vertebrates that live within the water and some that live without. These rafts also provide habitat for nesting birds, for the fish that are in the reservoir, not only for their the spawning, so where they're, they're breeding and they leave their, their eggs on the, um, on the roots that grow from the plants on the surface of these rafts, but also as, as shelter away from predatory birds mainly. We've got a lot of cormorants that, uh, that spend their time hunting on the reservoir. So these installations have been specifically designed for the great crested green and they're, they're one, of the, one of the species that um, recognise the, uh, the, uh, having important numbers on the reservoir. Um, and that's part of the SSSI designation. As you can see, there is a, an area behind me um, with some tree mulch, some bark and chippings, and a few plants in it. And the rest of it has been planted with marginal plants. Now, the way that these rafts will work and attract those birds is that there will be a there will be a barrier around the outside of them, which sounds a bit strange if you're trying to attract birds onto them. Um, that's actually for protection from the Canada geese and swans and other, um, and other waterfowl. So what happens is that we'll have the great crested grebes will dive underneath, come up in the, the pond area in the centre of the raft, pop up onto the, the bark chippings, the wood chippings, and nest in there. And they'll be fully protected from competition from other species um, and it will give them some shelter and protection from, from predators. So the Brent Reservoir is loca located in a really urban setting. So you've got the Webley Arch behind us, North Circular Road on my right and behind or in front of me is Edgware Road. This is, this is a highly pressured urban environment and we have this amazing blue-green asset here that provides nature for provides space for nature and provides space for people to connect to that nature to connect to wildlife. These ecosystems, these are these floating ecosystems, um, will attract great crested green, which numbers on the reservoir have dropped over time. So, in the hope of installing these, those numbers will increase um, and improve the status of the Red Reservoir Triple Side. 